We've seen that the main hall is now just a glorious shell, but the wings on either side survived intact. They were undamaged in the original fire, and they're very beautiful. The west wing became the family home. Lord and Lady Hastings, the late owners, who are descendants of the Delavilles, lived there. They were the ones who re-roofed the house and made it safe. They opened it to the public. They held medieval banquets and dedicated their lives to making sure that the building was going to survive for us. About 30 years after the house was finished, the biggest and the baddest of the Delavilles, the incorrigibly fascinating rogue and rake Sir Francis Delaville, became the owner for a while. He spent most of his life spending Delaville money as if it was going out of fashion. But he did build one architectural legacy that has survived. The stables, or to put it another way, the Horses Hotel. Sir Francis had gone on a visit to Hope Town House near Edinburgh, which had a similar horsey cathedral, and he was determined not to be outdone. I don't know whether he ever was. I've certainly never seen a posher stable. Even the stalls are made of stone, though interestingly, the posts, well, they're made of wood, but painted in imitation of stone. I'll tell you what, you certainly got bigger windows and more luxury if you were a horse than if you were a servant.